Hello again. Um, this is a mic test with an ElectroVoice 664. Um, the noise floor is about minus 63 decibels, which I think is roughly okay if you're making a recording with a couple of mics. Um, this is a slightly, you know, more senior version of the 664, uh, a microphone that I thoroughly enjoy. Um, it, it has a high set and low set impedance, and uh, with uh, these microphones, I think it's it depends on the cable which which pins are connected. So I don't know if it's high in high set or low set now, but who cares? I'm gonna try to play some guitar, nylon string, an electric guitar, piano, upright bass, and drums. Here it goes. I forgot to say that the uh, preamp is it's a tube preamp, and uh, it's this kind of cheap, uh, but okay preamp. Although we're not always friends, um, and the gain is set to about 60 decibels, and the output is zero, not minus, not plus, just between minus one and plus one decibels. This is the nylon string guitar uh, with the mic pointing at the O hole. <laughs> at like uh, the width of a an hand and this is to the fretboard and this is in my lap and this is me singing mm -hmm, I don't want your love mm -hmm, but I I don't want your love I don't want your love But I, I, I want you I know it says I know it says so many times before But I don't make them words true no more I don't want your loving But I I want you So the, the guitar is out of shape and also my singing maybe Okay now it's time for an upright bass with the pig guts intestines I don't know what it's called the uh, strings old school strings the bass itself sucks and me too um the bass is at uh, like ha half an arm's length from the uh from the microphone and the microphone is pointing to the f hole uh, I forgot to mention that uh, these 664s actually have I think three membranes inside of them uh, one membrane pointing forward and two on the sides. Many people don't believe this, but all the 664s uh, I've seen being open have had this. Um, yeah, and it's, it's to make a cardioid effect, I guess, and it's pretty, it's pretty darn cool, these kind of microphones. I love them. And the looks, I don't know, you can judge for yourself. close with the bass.
Okay, now for some drums. La 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 la. pointing uh, towards the bass drum uh, parallel to the ground like uh, at knee height now I'm gonna record some piano the microphone is at uh, knee height again uh, I don't have any actual stands I'm gonna play some piano and the piano itself is a bit broke it has this half humming, I don't know, this metallic thing loose inside of it, or someone has a theory of dropping a coin inside of it, I don't know which is true, and I'm not gonna check it out. I can't play Okay, last but not least the electric guitar the Amplifier is an old national amplifier from the 56 uh, It has strange humming noises and uh, all that kind of stuff and the back plate is loose and a tube socket uh, The guitar is a solid body single coil Gaia tone from the 50s
Okay, that's it from one of my favorite microphones, uh, dynamic microphones. Uh, you, I mean, you can compare this to the older version that I'm about to test, the older version of 664. And um, uh, I just want to mention that um, I came to know this old rhythm and blues producer uh, who started producing rhythm and blues in the late 50s when he was a teenager. And uh, yeah, throughout the 60s, uh, you know, with the soul and blah, blah, blah. And he still is very much alive. And he told me that when he started producing, when they had like four channels atop, I don't know, no, like four preamps. Uh, they almost always put a 664 aiming towards the guitar amplifiers and um, sometimes also at the bass drum. Mm, yeah, <laughs> That's, that was all.